of a soft top here. Okay, sayang, I'm passing you the camera, okay? Make sure you poison him, okay? Okay, Make I sure try. But you know, he wants to buy a Porsche. Okay, our first time on video doing this myself. Because my friend, Jared Weishong, green film guy, he's been wanting to get like maybe a more exciting car or a weekend car. So he bothers me sometimes, like how much is the road tax on this car? What do I think of this car and that car? And yeah, just like what Bing does, I try. I try my best to get people to want to buy and drop the top. Because, you know, you want a weekend car, you might as well make sure it's a drop the top, right? with the idea of an R8 I mean you know you know Jared he's a big Marvel fan he wants to be the real life Tony Stark so he's always been wanting to get an R8 it's a good choice I mean since it's an R8 I asked him you better look for a spider but yeah he doesn't have the fever of getting a convertible yet so we are gonna change that I also tried to get him to get a 911 not a boxer, sorry babe, but hmm, he said somehow he likes the Cayman. Let's see. Besides being a Marvel fan, he's also a big anime fan. So he likes his Initial D cars as well. And well, the Miata has been on Initial D before. So maybe that is a selling point as well. So let's see. Wish me luck. It's gonna just be a short drive, short poison session. Good drop the top weather. Just remembered something about Jared. He's a little bit taller than me. Or more like he's a lot taller than me. So maybe the Miata is not the best choice for him. I don't know, we'll see. We could always change the seats. There's a Miata guy in our club, Dave. He's pretty tall as well. So what he did is he put lotus seats into his Miata. And that helps him fit much better. He also changed steering wheel so it's easy to get in and get out of the car. So if you love Miata, you will find a way. I also just remembered that this car is a manual. I don't know whether Jared can drive a manual or not. Let's hope he can. I mean, who won't want to do this, right? I just arrived at the lunch place waiting for the person I'm supposed to poison. What's up? We're about <laughs> to test drive Lennox Miata. It's been a while since I drove manual, so if I crash it, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Here we have Jared from the Green Film who doesn't want to buy a convertible, <laughs> but hopefully he will change his mind after today. <laughs> Because uh, apparently the Miata can both be the Cayman and Boxster <laughs> Optional hot shell Yeah baby! <laughs> yeah. Ow! The difficult sell for a Miata is just that It's not good as a fast car So you will not like it in highways but when you see you know, how we handle city, city drive and apparently the turns are signal doesn't offer, you gotta off yourself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> cool, uh. So what cars are you considering now? I poisoned by the Cayman lah bro. <laughs> like really poisoned, like really really poisoned. <laughs> I haven't oh, driven yeah. one before. But I hear it's oh. nice to drive. Yeah lah. You I test mean, drove already right? This, this is also a mid engine lah. I test drove the 981. But I've been wanting to test drive the 987. Am I switching it right? Okay. Oh, am I pressing too much? It's alright. I will just need to change my clutch plate after this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a front engine 
Oh, this front engine. Yeah, front engine, rear wheel drive. I see. It's a little bit different. Oh, only the newer models they switch to. Uh, they nope. switch to what you call that? Mid engine. No, nope. it's always with oh, front. Oh, Miata's always front. Yeah, I see. The mid engine you're talking about maybe it's the MR2, MRS. Ah. Okay, then I may have misheard. You can tarry all the way to seven one. Seven year. Until seven thousand RPM. Oh, oh, oh. The exhaust or whatever. Uh, exhaust was changed to master speed, but that was changed by the previous owner. Oh, nice. Oh. Are you happy with this sound? Okay lah. More, it's a more. little bit. It's a little bit boomy. A little bit la la, but <laughs> okay lah. Can yeah, la. yeah, you drive sports car must have sound la. That's the theory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If no sound, it's not sports car. Unless you drive a Tesla lah. Oh uh, yeah. Tesla has got some problem. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So besides the heat, how is it? Great. Just still trying to get used to driving manual again. <laughs> it's always fun to drive this thing. Yes. Oh, this one can push until 7. Huh? Yes. So I can hold on to a gear until 7. Yes. You can try here <laughs> if you've got space. If you keep the rev above 4, then the torque is very nice. Because it's a small engine. Oh, but the road here not so good. Cool. Yeah. When you hit 4, right, will there be a different sound? You will hear the exhaust is a bit nicer, uh. then you can hear the torque kick in a bit. Mm. A bit in it, you won't go like, like that. Like. Uh. <laughs> because the engine is still the same size as your F30, you know. uh. still a relatively small engine. Yeah. The best part that you guys cannot see is, of course, this. Like. Yeah. <laughs> you can the cut eyes. the yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's one thing we all grew up like Oh shit, this is the car bro Yeah man But like, the in the Transformers, in all the uh, All the vintage shows which has sports cars yeah. It's always that Classic yeah. Yeah. The, the first one I saw actually is my <coughs> uncle's Mazda Astina 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 Which Astina. has this also uh, it's like a four-door small sedan. So, and this car's also in your initial B yeah. show that you like to watch. But do you think when the younger generation hear us talk about like, oh, this light is very nice, very cool, do they feel like, oh, this is like uncle stuff? <laughs> Probably. It's like how we feel when our our parents used to talk to them. Yeah. But this is sort of our parents' generation, you know. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It was their era, like their dream car. Yeah, we were like five years old when this yeah. car came out. Yeah, it's like convertible in KL. Yeah. Maybe during your Fraser's use. Okay, yeah. have you mastered the stick yet? Not yet. I need to go for some drift classes. Yeah. Very <laughs> like the best way to go down a gear, best, best turn to go up. Oh, 
only runs from second to third. Oh, uh, only second and third. This time I made the solo. And the ref was behind. Uh. Uh, so it's when the switch then the thing will yeah. run out. Yeah. Other car fake one. They were pour exhaust into the eight new pour petrol into the exhaust. Petrol into the exhaust. Yeah. Oh, that will make the pop. They'll make it pop, la, but there's the oh. fake pop. La. I know Cayman and Boxers, they got the crack, crackle. But I, I, I don't know how they work. Cayman and Boxster sounds nice because of the Boxster engine. Because I heard the, I was watching this video yeah. where the fella can do the crackle and wheel. Uh. So he saw this guy winding down window, then he <laughs> go beside him and crack him on the ground and then chow. We are done. Yeah, man. Nice. <laughs> if got another 30 plus K one, I buy. <laughs> 60 K maybe not. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Leonard's YouTube. <laughs> More like Green Film. There's uh, no he's... Leonard YouTube yet. <laughs> what about me? He's going to add some body kit to this car. <laughs> so the seed has been sown to drop the top seed. Everyone who has a convertible, that's your responsibility to sow the seed, the Russian seed once in a while. Now it's time for me to go and get my hair cut. Okay, bye! Sorry, top up now because it's right in the afternoon. A little bit too much for me to handle. See ya!